Honduras items to invoke. Oh, oh no, guys, I misclicked. Oh no. Oh no, guys, we're playing. We're playing uh, Twisted Fate again. We're playing Bilgewater again. Oh no, guys, I'm just gonna sell everything else I have. Even though there's a Bilgewater. Uh, there's a Piltover unit. Yeah, guys, this is the meta. Let's go. Another one. GG. We need to save the bow, though. We need to save that bow. Uh, I will have to save it on him, I guess. That's okay, though. I'll find a new graves, right? I'll find a new graves, bro. Gotta save those bows. Remember, guys, our check mark is... Um, our check marks are even shroud for the armor pen for the Bilgewater trade, double rapid fire cannon, and the giant slayer. The latter three items go on the beautiful Mila. Which is beyond overpowered. We're just gonna keep winning those games with this degenerate tactic that we copied from the challengers. Not a single other degen like me. Let's go, guys! It's so easy to win games in TFT because the patches are most of the time complete, utter garbage. And most people are human beings, unlike me. They wanna have fun at the game, right? So they just wanna play some different comps, so they will never play Twisted Fate and stuff. But I can just play Twisted Fate. Play only Bilgewater every single game. And it's a forced for free. GG. I, carry my family with I think I'll just sell this guy. This is very exciting. Because now I have a higher chance to find more Graves in the shop. Because we don't want the item to be stuck on him. And the Giant Slayer is not as important as the Rapid Fire Cannons. So you gotta wait. This builds into the beautiful Even Shroud. Which is gonna give us... Uh, armor pen. The frontliner can give us armor pen with that, which is really good. Because remember, Bilgewater trait is full physical. And we just want the full loss streak. We just want the full loss streak, guys. And we're very lucky, because these, these guys, for some reason, all voted for Placidium Library. Which gives me a free Bilgewater emblem. Which means free 7 Bilgewater with Bilgewater Nasus at level 7. And that is already enough to just win streak for the next couple stages, guys. There we go. These are other graves. This guy has Bilgewater as well, and he has Dedication. So he has Dedication and Placidium Library, so he can get 9 Bilgewater. But without the perfect build, th th same for this guy, without the perfect build that I will have with the Twisted Fate Dogman, they will be a lot weaker. They will be a lot weaker because Nila is very item dependent. And Nila with double rapid fire and giant slayer is a night and day difference compared to a Nila without any rapid fire. At least one is mandatory. Who holds items before Nila doesn't matter. Just give it to TF or uh, not, not MF preferably because she needs to be a two star. But Twist of Fate, you can just sell him and get a new one. Just get one one-star twist of fate, doesn't matter. See, this unit is useless. He might have good enough items though. Well, I saw a guard breaker on him. That is not good enough. Can I just take this bow? Mm, lucky for him. I would have just taken the bow to take the bow away from the enemies. Even though I don't need the bow yet, because I can just reroll my my item. And we will take this uh, this this cloak though, because it's a three cost unit and it gives us the even shroud. So we have that installed already. And I want to lose the entire way through. So I need to make myself weaker here, I think. There we go. That should be really weak. Should be as weak as possible. Gotta lose the entire way through. This guy also has early Piltover. Uh, Bilgewater, excuse me. Does anyone have Piltover? Speaking of it. Because these guys get very dangerous. Someone in the chat earlier was saying that uh, they with with seven Bilgewater, Mila two star with the optimal build, 
they beat an 80 stack Piltover cash out. Now, I'm sure that guy just played it extremely badly, but still. 80 stacks, I feel like 80 stacks, a toddler could win the game at that point. An actual toddler could just sit in front of the PC and just win the game at that point. With 80 stacks built over. 8-0. Eight, 8-0. Eight, zero, eight, zero. That's insane. That is double Tactician's Crown. Stuff like that, you know? Triple Radiant Item. Those are the type of cash outs. 80 stacks is insane. <clears throat> Maybe he's lying, lol. Oh, man. Play some more ranked games. Play some more ranked games. And report back how many times you lost to Bilgewater. And we can think about if he's lying. Let me tell you, he's not lying. He's genuinely that broken. The good thing is, uh, I'm gonna have a lot of money here. And I'm gonna be able to go level 7, roll it down for Bilgewater units. Is it double RFC Giant Slayer? Exactly, yes. It's kind of boring. You don't do anything in the early game. Ooh, I lose here if I don't level, right? Yeah. I lose here for sure if I don't level. Name Samira. Try not to slow me down. Name Samira. Try not to slow me down. TF, GG. Reforge all of this trash. Yep. Okay, reforge all of these items. Well, that's pretty good. There's actually a lot of physical damage this lobby, right? So I should probably just go for uh, the Bramble Vest. I think the Bramble Vest is fine. I think the Bramble Vest is super fine, right? Physical. Yeah, because remember guys, the Golden uh, Twisted Fate Augment gives you a full item and it's so hard to get full item uh, rerolls into the proper item. <laughs> I think he's gonna win. No, okay. It's actually a good loss. It's, it's better to lose here. I would rather lose here, for sure. Army building is trash. Items are trash. Demonic Leech is not that bad, actually. A little bit of lifesteal. Like him Specialist, these are terrible. I'll just take the Cyber Leech, it's good enough. Yeah, remember guys, it's so, um, like there's only, there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different, um, eight different, um, what's it called? Eight different components to roll into, right? But there's so many more items, different items, right? That you can, uh, roll into. So it's gonna take a long time until you get a Giant Slayer or a Rapid Fire Cannon. So just go for the Bramble. As soon as you get a good item with this, just go for it. And Bramble Vest, in a lobby where the whole lobby is playing uh, Bilgewater, is very good. Here I just... Um, I just do this. Next turn I level. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play very defensive. Again, this is exactly what you want to do as a Twisted Fate player. You just want to lose the entire early game, get your best items, and then uh, just roll here and get that Mila. I, I, I'd be very surprised if I win this. That's a good loss though, 3 unit loss again, pretty good. Bilgewater only 4 uh, juicers. Only 4 Bilgewater yet. Oh nice, there's my MF. There's my second bow. There we go, that's really good. Do I just go for the Rabadons? Because Rabadons is just a really good item on a MF. It saves HP, what do you think? Ah, what do you think? Do we just go for the Rabadons? Because it is her second best item after blue buff. We need second RFC, I know, but we don't even have Anila yet. 
And I think I can get a bow here on Carousel. This saves HP. I, I think this is a smart thing. <laughs> nice. This is the one little thing where you can have a little bit of skill expression. Deciding whether you go for the Rabadons or greet for more bows. The one little instance where you have a little bit of skill expression. <laughs> With Twist of Fate. Great, guys. <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna level up here, roll down to zero. Oh, nice, I get a bow there. And this takes bows away from the enemies. Very good, okay. Okay, so we have double RFC, now we just need Giant Slayer. And it's over. I can't believe this is the strategically most optimal play to, uh, style to play right now. Always on the run. Shadows. Let's raise this I should have played this guy, but I didn't see him until later. I'm never gonna hit 3-star. <laughs> and the crowd is going crazy, guys! We played it so well! We're doing the exact same thing as last game! And now we're gonna start win streaking. What a great way to earn LP in a very strategic and ranked game like TFT in an eSports in a world-renowned electronic sports title! I have to pick this. <laughs> electronic sports title, guys. This is just not even fun, man. It's not even fun, bro. It's not even fun, man. It's not even fun, bro. Like, should I just uninstall? We just play some... Uh, we just play some... Uh... Oh... Oh, man, you have two Bilge Water Emblems? Oh, but you don't have Nila? Zero gold, no Nila? I just get double Nila in one shot? Oh, man. Guess you should have trained some more, man. You gotta be a better eSport player, like me, like yours truly. I'm an athlete. I'm an electronic athlete. Yeah! Yeah! Freak that guy, man. Who does he think he is? How dare he even put his gaze upon me? The athlete. I am literally Faker! And he is literally... He is literally the equivalent of a roadkill skunk! Frick you, man! Frick all of you guys, man! Please fix the game! Oh, frick, I didn't reroll... Oh, no, look! I didn't reroll the thing! But it just rerolls back into one! Frick you guys! You don't need any skill in this game, man. I made the one mistake you can make. It doesn't freaking matter, it just gives me another bow. When he registers! <laughs> the hit didn't even spawn! Look how laggy it is! <laughs> okay, guys, I'll stop, I'll stop. Alright guys, like, we're just chilling, you know? Like, it's just disgusting, it's just game over. We're just chilling, we're just vibing now, we just go level 8. We're just gonna win streak full, unless someone is super lucky. Yeah, this is very strong. I, I will probably lose to this. I need a Giant Slayer, then I can win. If I get a Giant Slayer on Eli, I can actually win. I just need a Giant Slayer on Eli, I actually win. I need Sword here. Sword. Sordo. Za Sordo. You know, like Za Worldo. Star Platinum. Star Platinum! No? 
Sorry, guys. Sorry, man. Is Riot just insulting me? Are they just insulting me? Do they think I'm like two years old and I can't play the game at all? Like, they really just give me Pandora's items 3. They give me such a broken... Hachi! Oh no! Oh no! I misclicked. Oh no, guys. Hachi! Oh no. Hachi! Do we just go Jewel Gauntlet? Loki, I just go Jewel Gauntlet here. I just go Sword on the thing. I just want to get stronger. I just want to go fast 9, right? I just got to be as strong as possible. Oh, I should have played him and the and the the guy. I have two emblems, right? Do we just go Jewel Gauntlet? Oh yeah, true, true, true. Don't reroll the emblem. Ooh, ooh, thank you guys. Twitch chat saved me. I'm as dumb as hell. I'm as dumb as a piece of toast, man. Twitch chat saved me. Thank you guys. Thank you. You saved my nine build roller YouTuber. Oh man, I'll do a giveaway after this one. I'll do a little giveaway for you guys, an Amazon gift card giveaway, you know? Because I really appreciate it that you guys saved my tuber. Just kidding, man. Just shut the frick up, man. You think I'm gonna give you anything? Shut up, guys. Don't backseat me anymore. Don't backseat me anymore, you little guys, man. Who do you think you are? Frick you guys. How dare you, man? Backseat me, huh? Backseat me? Me. Can we just go triple RFC? I think I need Giant Slayer this game. Also, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm just going Sunfire. I'm pretty sure I'm just going Sunfire, right? Like, Sunfire is good enough. Sunfire is really good. I'm not going triple... I'm not going triple RFC. It's not... It's not... It's not as good as Giant Slayer. Giant Slayer is much better. You need that... You need that tank buster. You need to be able to bust the tanks. Again, I'm just copying Kyun, and he is challenger every set, insane esports player. Actual esports player. <laughs> no, seriously though, guys. Thank you, guys. That was sick. That was sick, man. I would have forgotten. I swear. I, I don't play this augment often. I would have 100% forgotten like a clown. I would have gone dead last. I think I'll just secure my Giant Slayer here. Because I'm second last pick. I probably can't get anything else anyway. I would grab Nasus because Nasus is a unit I want to play anyway. Okay, Nasus is gone. I'll just secure the Giant Slayer. It's perfectly fine. We, we want a blue buff on MF. We want a 2-star MF. Usually you would roll at level 8 at the latest, but since I can go 9 Bilgewater, I have the opportunity. With the Bilgewater emblem, I'm just gonna do it. And then uh, we just win, yeah, because it's really broken, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Giant Slayer. The Goblin Slayer. What? Do I just level here? I don't think I level. Uh, try level. I think I won't risk it, man. Because I still make 20. I'm still pretty rich. Like, I, 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 I can't lose. I can't lose. This is the guy we needed the giant. Oh, no. That's a really lucky glove, though. That's going to make it much harder. Oh, never mind. It's already half HP. The next cannonball is going to kill it. This is so broken, bro. But I, you need Giant Slayer. You would not win this without Giant Slayer, guys. You absolutely must have Giant Slayer. Again, this is a very lucky glove on him there. But it doesn't matter. Okay, very good. Very good that we did go for a Giant Slayer. Look, this would not be this high without... And remember, the Bilgewater trait is dealing so much damage because she's dealing so much damage. It's a percentage of her as well. So if she doesn't have the Giant Slayer, this is also going to be way less. So, please keep that in mind, guys. It's super important. Okay, I'm gonna go for a Warmox here on him. That's what I'm trying to get. Actually, I probably should have gone for the... Belt on this guy. I think I should stack him, because he already has two items. This guy's gonna be the secondary tank. Last game, I had the two-star Nasus already, so... I stacked the Nasus. Leveling paid off, yeah. It seemed to be a level diff a little bit. This guy has three Bilgewater emblems. 
but he's hard stuck level 7. He still doesn't have a single knee lock. This game, when the patch is bad, guys, the game is all about RNG. There is no skill. Do you think I played it better than him? Oh, frick, I might still lose. Oh, no. Ah, unfortunate. The uh, knee lock got cocked by MF. We only have a one-star MF. But I don't want to roll because I beat both, most players. I should be able to beat most players. Like, level 9 Bilgewater is just Exodia. 9 Bilgewater is just game over. This is good. Heimerdinger is not needed. We already have armor pen. No need for anything else. Uh, should I rebuild my Nautilus? Nah, it's actually not worth. I could rebuild him. Just put Sunfire on Nautilus so he's tankier. What do you think? I am not sure, guys. Probably not. Oh, frick. Oh, look, I made the mistake again. It didn't matter. Again. Lel. Top kick. I kind of want blue buff on her, though, now. Do I get blue buff on her? Also, what do I do with this guy? I just go with this on Nautilus, right? Just go with the Giga Tank item. Just go Giga Tank item on Nautilus. Actually, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait for better components. Ah, I could go Giga Tank. I, I think I have to just not to grieve. Just go Giga Tank. Remember, he has a passive that makes resistances more worth on him. 30% more bonus armor and mag magic resistance from all sources. I hope I just stumble upon a 2-star MF, because rolling for a 2-star MF in this current meta is really bad, because everyone plays MF. So you should almost never do that. So I hope I just stumble upon it, that would be very lucky at this late stage into the game, but kinda just hope it will happen. <laughs> Mommy! The demons are gonna attack me! <laughs> Mommy, I'm summoning demons! <laughs> I, I didn't mean to, man! He asked me, Shurko! Shurko, man! Do you wanna win every game abusing Twisted Fate, Mila? Bilgewater? But in exchange, I'm gonna be ravaging your little booty hole in your dreams every night! <laughs> I thought it's a joke, I accepted! <laughs> oh, Frick, that guy's strong! Wait, hold up! Wait, that guy's so strong! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I thought his. Okay, I'm safe. I'm safe from him though. I can survive a couple rounds, I'm safe. I just need to find this GP, huh? <laughs> I just need to find GP, bro. I need to find GP so badly. I could go for a redemption. I feel like redemption is good here. Just give the redemption buff to him. Damage reduction. AoE damage reduction. Uh, Placidium library. This guy is good, but I feel like I just play these guys as Bilgewater additional. And uh, Aatrox. Aatrox instead of this, yeah. I just play these guys as additional. This guy just gets redemption as well then. Casts faster. I'm just holding Nila to grief the other people. That's all there is. Watch him lose. I could lose, yeah. I could absolutely lose. Like, it's lucky, but, you know, like, I I have kind of a scuffed frontline. I don't have a two-star now, so I'm playing very greedy. I could just roll at eight, get all my two-stars, and then just go safely level nine. But, you know, I could also not hit the two-star Nasus and then just die anyway, so I feel like uh, I'm not sure what the right choice is. But I am almost level nine, so... Maybe there's a GP. There is a GP. These guys are playing Bilgewater though, so I can't get it. Unless they don't take it. Maybe they won't take it because they need something else. Ah, frick. I could have gone Static Shave on MF. <laughs> Would have probably been okay. I think I'll just go Bastion Emblem. Bastion Emblem on somebody, it's fine as well. Give him some more frontline. It's pretty good right now. 
Uh, if you, I, I know, yeah, exactly. Look, it's always the guys. No offense, but you guys are stupid as hell. No offense. You're telling me to reroll the emblem every time you have this augment. At least five Twitch chatters tell you to reroll the emblem. Guys, rerolling the emblem has such a low probability of getting bilge water. It is so abysmally low that it is like it is clearly not worth. Man, why am I playing this guy again with all these three stars? Oh, it's not him again. It's a different guy. So many Slayer players with a bunch of three stars. She just got CC'd. Oh no, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm not dead, but I lose this fight for sure. Oh, oh, she's still alive. Nah, she died. 14 health. I mean, I can level here. I can level here. I just have to roll for GP now. I have to I have to level here. I have to roll for hopefully one GP. I didn't hit. I think I just play double double Nasus, uh, double this guy, right? This guy does nothing. I might lose. I think I'm dead. This guy is way too strong. He's the Slayer player. But I got a top three. But it's so disappointing, no? He has a one star. Uh, maybe I can win if I get lucky. But I feel like Mila is just inting, man. Jumps in, gets stunned. Zonia's Mordekaiser is so powerful. Wow, I can't believe I won this. This is actually disgusting. This is just terrible balance. Okay, nice. Now I have time to hit. Hopefully we hit, but we have so little gold. We just need one GP, we can win the game. Please, one GP ban. This guy took my GP and then died. No, he didn't even die, did he? Please, one GP, man. One GP. Please, 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 man. Please, one GP, man. I'm begging you, I just need one GP. Level 9. No one is holding a single GP, so there's still 10 of them in the pool. Come on. Please do it once for me, man. Hold this to thin out the pool. GG. Deserved. 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 What? What, guys? Deserved? Yes, exactly. Deserved. Go freak yourselves. Go freak yourselves, man. Deserved. I'll just go Bastion on him, low key. Deserve. Because I want redemption on him. Deserve, guys. Okay, this guy's strong, but we beat him the last couple times. He got a lucky glove again on this, though, but it should be fine. I have nine. I have nine uh, build rotter now. Now the our our thingies are AOE now. The thingies are freaking AOE, which is so powerful. We should be fine. I, I feel like Redemption on Jarvan is better, but he jumps away. Nah, it's still better because he, he gets mana. We just want him to ult with the Sunfire. He just ults in and pops Sunfire and reduces the healing. It's all we need from him. It's all we need him to do. I mean, I just sell this, okay. I'm not gonna hit 3 star Nila, the game is not gonna last long enough. He's 7 Demacia, 4 juicers. Yes, he's so stupidly strong, man. Okay, he, I guess, he just has uh, Eternal Winter on both sides. Eternal Winter counters Nila so hard. Luckily, they die so fast, though. Oh. Nine build water is just Exodia. The thing is, you can still lose with nine build water if you don't have uh, GP two star. Like GP two star, GP two star, Aatrox two star. I'm super safe. Not having GP items is also bad. I feel like I should just two star GP. I find one MF. I sell MF. I put items on GP for sure. Two star GP. I I put the items on him. Honestly, Aatrox doesn't even matter. Frick Aatrox, just keep rolling for GP. Mm -hmm. 
For this, I just have to lock. I can't sell GP for that. But honestly, I might lose the fight. I, I, no, 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 no. I, I, I can't sell GP, I think. But I might lose this fight. You probably, in a tournament, you would do it. But I won't here. I don't know, I'm stupid. YOLO, guys. YOLO, 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 yeah! Mm, I just got cocked. I think I'm dead. Oh. I locked, this is good. GP with a good item rolling towards me. Guys, it's just so deserved, man. Like, how, how, how am I just deserving these games, bro? Like, I just deserve these games. Man, they're just so deserved, man. I'm just sitting here deserving everything. That's crazy, guys. Wow, Shirku, you're such an electronic athlete. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. I wanted one MF. Alright, that's fine. Wanted one MF. One MF, I move uh, Jewel Gauntlet and this. I I'll give her the uh, blue buff though. The blue buff is fine. She can have that. Two star GP. You want to keep him in the back so he gets more AP, so he can cast, uh, so he gets more mana, so he can cast fast. If you have some tanky items, it's very good to keep him in the front though. If you have some tanky items, like Edge of Night, Bloodthirster, like some Bruiser items, you know, maybe even Sterox. Although I wouldn't go Sterox, I think. Okay. This is just so disgusting that this guy's just losing the game. I, I think this is just so unfair because he has such a cool team with three star Mordekaiser. And I'm just playing the, the comp that everybody plays every game. It's pretty, it's pretty disgusting. I, I don't need another GP. Just need a MF here. Okay, didn't find a MF. Lost fight. Uh, didn't find a MF. That's fine. That's okay. Not a big deal. Okay, so I have to not get stunned on Nila. Hmm. Actually, this is kind of bad because Jarvan is still gonna jump here. It's pretty bad positioning. Maybe he just dies before he even jumps. No. Oh, this is a really bad boat. I might have just thrown with positioning. Never mind. Zero brain, zero skill. Still a victory. That is Bilgewater right now, guys. Zero brain, zero skill, zero mechanics. And even you, despite all of that being true for you, probably, you can be an electronic sports athlete. With this, we should be roughly top 500 Europe or something. Cheers, you guys. Subscribe to the notification bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the algorithm so I can get some more views. And I'll see you next time.